The Death Ranger story is solely in the Power Rangers comics published by Boom Studio. For those who don't know Power Rangers comics, I can tell you that they have very interesting stories with an adult focus. We all know that Power Rangers on TV is aimed at a younger audience and that is why the stories are simple. In the TV series there are no complex stories as they should be stories for all ages, but the comics have deeper stories. The story of the Death Ranger is a story that talks about death and acceptance when the people who leave this world will never return. Thousands of years ago there were five Omega Rangers, which were red, yellow, blue, black and gold. This is different from what we know today since now there are only four, since the gold color is not there, and the existence of a gold Omega Ranger had never been known until now. We are going to focus on two Omega Rangers in this story, the gold and the blue. These two Omega Rangers were friends, but they were two very different beings from different planets. The Gold Ranger comes from a planet that does not understand death since for them it does not exist. This does not mean that they are immortal, but rather that when a person dies, they say that their journey in life is over. This is because when a person dies, their soul joins a collective consciousness which they call the Legacy. When these souls join this collective consciousness, what happens is that all the people who remain alive can hear all the dead in their minds and that is why they do not understand death since they continue to hear the voice of the person who died. Imagine you have a person you love and then they die, but you can still have a conversation in your mind with that person. This is not similar to the imagination since we ourselves control everything there, this is different since the deceased person is really going to respond to you. It's basically like you're on the phone with the dead since you can't see their body, but you can hear their voice and have a conversation. It is also how these beings on this planet live with dead people inside their minds and that is why they do not understand death or loneliness. The Gold Omega Ranger called Spark was suffering since being very far from his planet, he could not hear the voices of this collective conscience. It was the first time he felt loneliness although he really wasn't alone since he lived with the other rangers. For him it was a different loneliness since he was used to hearing all these people in his head and now he didn't hear anything. His friend, the Blue Ranger, tried to cheer him up and explain that he really wasn't alone, that there was a lot of life around them, but even so Spark couldn't understand this. At that moment a giant enemy attacked them and killed the Blue Ranger before she could transform. At first Spark did not feel the death of his friend and never cried since he thought that her soul was going to connect to the collective consciousness, and he was going to be able to continue connected to her. Obviously, this didn't happen since she was from another planet and little by little Spark began to get depressed because it was the first time, he had that feeling of emotional pain. All rangers deal with pain in different ways, but Spark wanted to find a solution to that pain. After a few days the rangers had to stop a monster that was similar to a giant mouth but it was really a portal that led to the darkest with a lot of knowledge.
This monster told Spark that it could help him with his problem, so Spark got closer than anyone ever had. The rangers were able to defeat the monster and lock it up, but it was too late. With the dark knowledge that Spark had found in that portal, he began to experiment with the energy of the Morphin Grid. With this energy he could give life to everything that was already dead, but Spark did not understand the consequences of this. After supposedly mastering this energy, he quickly went to the Blue Ranger's grave to revive her. The other rangers noticed this and quickly went looking for him, but it was too late, Spark had revived the Blue Ranger. Even though she was alive, the Blue Ranger seemed like a lifeless puppet that Spark was simply controlling with the new power. Spark was happy because her friend was alive, but the other rangers tried to explain to her that this was wrong since she should be dead, that was her place now and she had to learn to accept it. Spark refused to accept the death of his friend, so the Black Ranger began to treat him like any other threat from space and attacked him. At that moment the Blue Ranger attacked the Black Ranger since Spark was controlling her. After this Spark woke up all the dead that were buried in that same place and he could control them all. The Omega Rangers had to transform to start fighting with all these living skeletons controlled by Spark, which now becomes the Death Ranger. Even though Spark was able to control the dead, he couldn't fully control the Blue Ranger, who broke free and started attacking Spark. In that moment of weakness, all the other dead broke free as well, started chasing Spark, seized his blaster, and shot him. With this shot all the connection of the new power vanished and the Blue Ranger was sorry for what had happened since that was not what she wanted. Again, she started to die as she was only alive due to the Death Ranger's power, but at the same time Spark also started to die. When Spark died, his soul was seeking to join the collective consciousness like all the people on his planet, but being away from his planet, his soul couldn't connect to the collective consciousness. Because of this, her soul was attached to the Morpher since it was the only thing that could keep her and then the Omega Rangers hid this Morpher. <laughs>